I received this UNO R3 starter kit from the company Elego. This is intended for people who want to enter the fascinating world of microcontroller programming. Included is a CD with example programs and a very detailed tutorial, because without good documentation all of this would sooner rather than later be nothing more than electronic waste. All the parts you need are well organized in a practical transport box. In addition to the microcontroller board, there are many sensors and actuators included that can be controlled with that tiny computing device. Your imagination sets the limit on how all these parts can be connected and programmed. The main chip of the microcontroller board is an 80 mega 328 which sits on a socket and can therefore be removed to be used as standalone computing device, but this only makes sense once you have outgrown the beginner stage. The 8-bit processor has few resources, but you will be amazed at what can be done with it. Especially for beginners, there is. Less is more. Circuits can be soldered on an included shield in case you need a permanent solution for a particular project. However, you don't need a soldering iron to build the example circuits given in the documentation, as they can all be built using the included breadboards and jumper cables. Yes, CDs are somehow outdated. Putting the documentation on a USB stick would be more practical, but the package is also available as download from the manufacturer's website. As already mentioned, a set like this is only as good as the documentation that comes with it and the one of the Elego starter set is very well written, richly illustrated and available in several languages. The chapters begin with the installation of the Arduino software and the required libraries... ...and then move on to the example programs that can be reproduced with this kit. Physical computing traditionally begins with a blinking LED and the starter set is no exception from that rule. Not only is the example program included and shown how to connect an LED to the GPIO of a microcontroller, the theory behind resistors, pulse width signals and color theory is also addressed. These detailed descriptions run through all chapters, so that beginners cannot just follow stupid instructions, but actually understand what is being done here. I won't comment on the example circuits here, but will just show in this video that everything works out of the box if you follow the instructions. Of course, you can modify each of the example programs according to your ideas in order to dive deeper into the world of physical computing. A big advantage of learning to program with microcontrollers is that the computer used to write and compile the code doesn't have to be powerful either. Here I am using a laptop that is more than 10 years old.
Even with this aging hardware, all examples are quickly compiled and uploaded to the microcontroller. The operating system I use is Linux Mint in version 20.3, which runs the current Arduino IDE with no problems. Any libraries that may be required are saved in the example program folders as a zip file. How to implement these in your code is also described in the documentation. The software fits perfectly with the hardware in the UNO R3 kit. If you would buy the components individually, you would spend several hours searching for the needed libraries. The Illegal Starter Set saves you all this time, as well as the possible frustration if you cannot find a working library for your sensor or display. Wire up the circuit, upload a sample program and you can start experimenting. This is not only fun for beginners, but also quickly encourages advanced users to implement their own ideas and combine the components to something totally new. Even if you have made your work through all 33 chapters, that doesn't mean that the set will be useless afterwards. You don't need much imagination to set up circuits and software that are not described in the documentation. As always, further information and high resolution photos of all parts of the ELEGO UNO R3 starter set can be found on the pages of How Open Is This Gadget. Have a click! Thanks for watching and I'll be back.